Hi everyone, my name is Min. I'm a second year medical student at a regional medical school in Australia. Um, today, the point of my video is going to address how to get into medical school through high school and through graduate entry. So if you're in high school, what you have to do is sit your year 12 exams, obviously, but you also have to sit one other exam, and it's called the UMAT. Um, if you haven't heard of this, it is a three section test and it consists of section one which is reading comprehension and problem solving section two is uh, empathy skills so they'll give you a scenario and for example five options to choose from and you've got to choose the best answer they all will be right but you've got you've got to choose the best answer and then the third section is visual spatial so that would be like patterns and um, trying to organize the patterns into the right order I'm, I wasn't very good at that, but I did this four or five years ago, so I'm not sure if the layout of the exam has changed. I think it's best if you guys do your own research. It's UMAT. Um, you will find it on Google, and just like read about it as much as you can. If you are in year 11, um, you can apply for the year 12 UMAT test, and that will allow you to gain entry into medical school. Uh, after year 12. If you are um, younger than a year 11, um, then you can sit the test twice. And I really do suggest you do this because the first time you will sit it in year 11, it will give you some idea of how uh, the exam is laid out. And then once you sit it again in year 12, you will be more prepared for it. And um, the thing with the UMAT test is that you can use the results for two years. So for example, if you do better in year 11, you can use that result instead of your year 12 one. So after you, you've done the UMAT and you've sat your year 12 exams, um, you apply for your medical schools online and uh, they give you a few preferences, I think, that you can put down. And um, after that, you just wait for your interview offers if the university you go to requires interviews. and if you are successful, successful in your interview, sorry, I can't talk today. Um, if you are successful in your interview, then congratulations, you are in medical school. Um, with, uh, I have to talk to you about Melbourne Uni. So Melbourne Uni has changed. Before you could, you could get straight into Melbourne Uni's um, medical school program, but now you've got to, you t you've got to do an undergraduate degree before you enter the medical program. It's now called um, the New Melbourne Model and it's really like graduate entry. So I think Melbourne based it on Harvard's um, style of uh, admission. So it kind of filters out all the students who are not determined or persistent enough to do medicine after the three years of their undergraduate degree. And um, this brings me to graduate entry, which is what I did because I didn't do so well in the UMAT in years 11 and 12. I did three years of biomed at Melbourne University and then I sat the GAMSAT. The GAMSAT is like a five and a half hour exam that also has three sections. The first one is reading comprehension and problem solving. second one is essay writing. So two essays in one hour. They give you a quote. You've got to elaborate on that quote and write a full essay. And the third section is your basic sciences, so it's physics, chemistry and biology. And it's mostly focused on organic chemistry. So make sure you study that. Um, there's a good site called pagingdoctor.com. Um, I'll give you the link down below. It's very good because it gives you an idea of what to expect in the GAMSAT. Everyone like discusses on the boards and they also give example questions and essays up there as well and they give you tips and I was I was an avid follower of this site for a long time before I sat my GAMSAT and it just gave me a good idea of what the GAMSAT would be like and um, I I have the same principle so in second year of my undergraduate degree I tried out for the GAMSAT and I got like 60 which is a percentile of around 94 um, and then the second time 
I started in my third year and I got 65 so that went up to a percentile of like 96 um, and I used my second uh, score obviously and uh, I applied for medical school with that. I also worked really hard in my undergraduate years to get all high distinctions. <laughs> it was hard but I managed to and um, it was I think worth it because I, after all the hard work, you know, you, you are guaranteed a place if you do do well in the GAMSA as well as have a good GPA. GPA in Australia is um, an aggregate score of your, uh, of all your subjects. So for example, a high distinction is worth a 7, a um, honours is worth a 6.5 and then you just add them all up and divide them by the number of subjects you have and the total is out of 7. So I got about 6.89 and um, I was pretty happy with that score but I was still a bit worried about my interview. So what you, what you do after you sit your GAMSA as well as finishing, as well as finishing your end of um, year exams is uh, you wait for the interview offer and um, once you get that you sit the interview and then it's the same process really and you'll get sent a conditional offer. Conditional offer means that um, the results are dependent on whether you did well on your end of year exams or not or you get a, uh, uh, what's it called, a, um, a sure offer, like it, I, I don't know the exact word for it, but it's a complete offer where they say yes you're in medicine now, congratulations, you don't have to wait for any other results. So um, I had to wait for my results which was pretty nerve wracking because you know any drop in GPA could change my um, my my chances of getting into medical school but in the end I got in unfortunately not in a metropolitan um, medical school I really wanted to go to Melbourne Uni but unfortunately um, they were changing the curriculum when I when I finished my third year and so I couldn't apply from the Melbourne Medical School I had to apply elsewhere and now I'm at a regional medical school and I don't regret it one bit but it's funny because I've had to move far away from my family and I I don't know I guess I've become more independent it's good in a way but I'll tell you more about that later if you have any questions I know I'm rambling a lot because this is my first proper video in telling you guys about um, how to apply for medical school. If you have any criticisms or any advice to give me, please do, because I'm quite a shy person and when I talk to a camera, I feel like I'm talking to a whole audience. So, um, I hope it's helped you a little bit. There are, I should talk about the medical schools. So. Um, there are medical schools that accept international students, but all international students have to pay full fee. They are not allowed Commonwealth supported places. So um, it's going to be quite an expensive, uh, quite an expensive debt that you will build up at the end of your course if you do um, choose full fee. Um, there are also Commonwealth supported places which are for local students and bonded places which involve um, students who have to give back to the society or to um, the country area by working there for around six years. Uh, but I think you can, I don't know, lower the number of years by paying off some fees but I'm not quite sure. I'm a Commonwealth supported student so I don't have to pay until I get a real job. <laughs> so they just literally take the money from my bank account when I work. Um, if you have any questions, please just ask me below and um, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.